All right, so we're gonna to put together some AN fittings. These are the transmission cooler lines for the Buick. We've run the lines and put some electrical tape where we cut, and then we cut them with a set of bolt cutters to cut it cleanly. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this AN fitting on the end of this tube. Now a lot of people leave the electrical tape on. I'm a fan of doing it that way. That way it keeps the hose together, but some people prefer to take it off. I haven't found that it works better or worse either way. So this is an AN fitting. It's actually two pieces. So this nut here goes on the tube like this. And then this part goes inside here. So once this is pushed onto the tube, this barb goes inside here and pushes in this and expands the outside of the tube against the threads that are inside that fitting. So this goes on the tube, this goes in here, and then this gets tightened down like this. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna this is reverse threaded, so we're going to go ahead and thread this onto this tube. And then once that's seated in the bottom of this uh, fitting, then we'll go ahead and put this in. The biggest thing is making sure all of this stuff goes inside this tube and you don't get any frays. And then it's reverse threaded. So push and turn, push and turn. Lots of that. And this is not like easy work. This this is quite tight. Especially with the uh, vinyl electrical tape. Kind of makes it a pain. But you got to look in there. You still have like, I don't know, sixteenth of an inch to go. Keep going. <clears throat> From start here. A little bit more. All right, so we're seated. This nut is seated on the end of the tube. It pushed all the way against the threads and we're gonna go ahead and lubricate this fitting and put it in. So I like to use silicone spray. Uh, you could use WD-40 or whatever. Just spray here. That's plenty. And this goes inside here and you push, it's gonna expand the tube and you're gonna get these threads engaged. Push and thread. Push and twist. All right, so now that we have this fitting started to thread, we're just gonna go ahead and use uh, some presser wrenches to grab these both ends and twist this in. It's gonna take some time to push it all the way in, but that's gonna expand that tube against those threads that are in there and then make it so the end won't come off. You should be using an aluminum wrench for this, but I don't have one right now. and. I need to get this done. And it won't mar the surface of the anodized. All right. So you can see there's still a small gap. I'm gonna go a couple more turns. Right around there, all right. So that's seated against it. I like to line up the uh, flats on the nut uh, that way just looks nicer but this is a nice uh, an swivel here on the end and that'll tie into our trans cooler <laughs> 